Let's do this. What's up? Welcome back. Or if you're new here, I do Bible reviews every single week. If you're interested in that, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. But anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Today I am reviewing the NKJV Compact Single Column Reference Bible in genuine leather. There's the side, and there's the back. It's going to come in a hard clamshell box. There's a peek at it right now. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. There it is. So you can get a look at that grain, the perimeter stitching, gold gild with nothing underneath, so no art gilt. And here's a look at your spine. Nice, simple, and clean. Looks really good. So you got one, two, three, four, five golden lines going across. Um, they are, well, I guess 10, right? If they're double lined. Anyway, <laughs> Holy Bible, NKJV, Thomas Nelson. Then on the back, you are going to have a ISBN in gold. Here's a look at your two ribbons. Single-sided, straight cut, but nice and thick, black and red. So basically, if you haven't watched any other of my videos before, I'm gonna go on the desk. We're gonna get a close-up view of the exterior again. I'm gonna dive in, show you the content to this Bible, and then I'm gonna do a couple of comparisons. And I'll come back here, give my final thoughts. That's it, all right, let's get to it. Okay, here we are, so nice compact sizing. I'm gonna get you an accurate measurement here. About five and a quarter, oh, five and a half, uh, five and a quarter, a little over five and a quarter, width by seven and a half height. Get a look at that spine again. Quick close up. The texture, the green, and then your golden gild. Back and the ribbons. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. You're gonna have a synthetic black paste down liner here. This Bible is Smith's own as well. This is going to have a presentation page on a thick glossy paper. The Holy Bible. The Holy Bible containing the Old and New Testaments. NKJV Thomas Nelson. You should look at your copyright info, table of contents, and here is the preface to the NKJV. Good idea to always read this if you've never read a translation before. And this is awesome paper. Although not technically a premium paper, 36 GSM, very nice. Old Testament in a nice dark red, which you're going to see more of throughout this Bible. Boom, look at that awesome formatting. So single column, references in the side column. Close up here. See red accents for your section headings, chapter numbers, book titles. Throughout your references, So here's a look from both sides. And then how the references work is, you can see they're keyed with red accents in the text. So see one and two, the numbers are going to be for your translation notes, and then the letters will be the actual cross references. They don't stand out a ton, they stand out a good amount, but not distracting from reading. Very nice. This is a nine point NKJV comfort print. And then as you can see, all your references are pushed down. So you're going to have all this space if you like to write, depending, sometimes they do fill up the page, but you'll have that space. And then you'll have this. This is about half an inch. This is, oh man, I can't remember. Let's see, what is it? You're looking at it about an inch and a quarter. And then about half inch outside of those references. 
So it looks really nice. Let's take a look at the poetic setting. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? All right, there we go. So you can see it's more centered on the page because look how big your margins are here. And then your verse numbers are separated from the text. Very cool. Look at this spacing. You don't have to worry about the text running into the gutter. It has a nice amount of space. Very good. Alright, let's check out the New Testament. Okay, as you will see, same styling on this New Testament title page. And there we have same exact format. And it just looks awesome. This is a black letter edition, so words of Christ are going to be in black as well. Now, when you get to the back, oh, I did forget to show you, so as far as laying flat, you're going to be looking at probably, well, actually, this thing is laying in Genesis. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought it laid flat in Exodus, but I think just from flipping through this a little bit more, it's already laying flat in Genesis. So it does a good job laying flat. That answers that question for you. Okay, so when you... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alright, so when you get to the back, you're going to have a concordance. The letters are going to be in red, but the words are all black and bold. Three column. Concordance. After that... It's going to go straight to what you just saw, peak of the maps. Well, a note regarding the type. Here are your maps. One, two, three, four, five, six, because this is one map, seven. And there's the back. All right, let's do some quick comparisons. So, let's compare this to another compact. First, the CSB single column compact. Very similar sizing, right? This is also single column. If you like the CSB, definitely check this one out. Um, but anyway, here we go. So, a little bit thinner. Height, almost exactly the same. Very slightly under. And about a quarter inch or so on the side. So, very similar footprint there compare it to, I unfortunately don't have the regular size of edition of the NKGV um, reference Bible single column, but I do have this personal size NIV from Zondervan. So there's a look at that, right? You're looking at a very similar width. The personal size only slightly wider but you are looking about maybe an inch and a half or so on the top, height-wise. And this one's pretty nice as well. And then I have one more just to get you an idea of the actual like sizing compared to other Bibles because a lot of people use large print thin lines, so let's show you just how much smaller this is. Oh my goodness, I just <laughs> kicked my whole thing, sorry. <laughs> so here is a large print thin line. Check that out. Like, now you can really see how small this thing is. Really is a nice compact size. Look at that. Maybe inch and a half there. I don't know, on the top of three inches, two and a half. Yeah, so. But thicker, right? This is a thin line. This is the McLaren large print thin line. You can also see the difference in the genuine leather. This is an older edition from Thomas Nelson. This one's newer. So I think this is what their new stuff is coming out in. I think it is an improvement on the genuine leather. This one is nice still, but yeah. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and talk about this. All right, so now you gotta go to the comments and give me your thoughts on this Bible right here. And then when you're done with that, you can go ahead and like this video if you've enjoyed it so far, if it's been helpful. And then when you come back, I'm going to give my final thoughts. All right, pause. Okay, time for my final thoughts. Dude, this is probably one of the 
the fa my favorite Bibles that I've reviewed so far. Just compact, I really like compact Bibles, just easier to just read wherever, whenever. And just aside from that, just the fact that it has nine point font, has, oh, 72,000 cross references. I didn't say how many there were, but yeah. A lot of cross references if you want to use them. You know, they're pushed down out of the way. I, I do personally like when it is straight out from the text just to make it easier to find, but it's still not bad because they're keyed with the red accents. Um, 36 GSM paper. This particular one with a nice genuine leather. Yeah, not technically premium, you know, with the synthetic paste down, but still just a nice mid-level Bible that is going to get the job done and is really cool. <laughs> right? So, anyway, I hope to see you next time. Peace.